Hi, I'm Zach from Kid to Kid Tutorials, and right now I'm going to be redoing my previous video, Four Systems of Equations with Four Unknowns, in an effort in trying to improve my previous video. So let's get started with our Four Systems of Equations. So the first thing we do, so we don't get confused later, is label each of these equations. So the first one is problem one, or P1, and the second, P2, the third one is P3, the fourth one is P4. So now we don't, so now we don't <coughs> get confused later on, because we have them labeled, and if we didn't have them labeled, we would get mixed up with which equation is which. So let's get on with the problem. So we have these equations. Let's look for the ones that are easiest to eliminate. So P1 and P4 are one of the easiest to eliminate. So let's do those two. So <coughs> they're the easiest to eliminate because see they have a D and P1 has a D, P4 has a D, and let's try to eliminate the Ds first. So <coughs> we add, we combine those two equations. So first we write down P1, which is 2A minus 3B plus 5C plus D equals negative 41. And then P4 is 3A plus 7B minus 6C plus D equals 31. And we can't combine these just yet because if we combine these, these wouldn't get rid of the D. It would just be D plus D, which is 2D. That wouldn't help. So we need to multiply the first one by a negative, a negative 1, or just a negative sign. So we multiply this equation by negative 1, and we get negative 2a, negative 2a plus 3b minus 5c minus d equals 41. And now we have 3a plus 7b minus 6c plus d equals 31. And negative d plus d is, you got it, 0. So let's combine these two equations. So negative 2a, we know these cancel out. So negative 2a plus 3a is just a. So a plus 10b minus 11c. And then negative d plus d is, as I already mentioned, 0. And that equals 72. 41 plus 31 is 72. So now we have this equation, and we'll label that E1 as equation 1. So now that we've eliminated the d's in P1 and P4, we have to eliminate the d in P3. And since there's no D in P2, we don't have to do anything with that yet. So let's go on with P3. We're going to combine that equation with P4. But you can also combine it with P1. It doesn't really matter as long as you can eliminate one variable. So I'm just choosing P4. So we have P3 as negative A plus 2B minus 7C minus 2D equals 46. Okay, so that's P3. Now P4 is 3A plus 7B minus 6C plus D equals 31. So we can't combine them just quite yet because if we have negative 2D and we add a D to it, that would just be a negative D. And that wouldn't really help with eliminating a variable. So that's why we need to multiply P4 or the last equation by 2 to get a 2d. So when we get negative 2d plus 2d, that equals 0, and we eliminate the d's. Okay, so times 2 to for p4, so we get 6a plus 14b minus 12c plus 2d. And then now we can combine equals 62. Okay, 
Now we can combine it with P3, which is negative A plus 2B minus 7C minus 2D, which e equals 46. Okay, we combine these two equations. We get 6A minus A, which is 5A. So 5A and 14B plus 2B is 16B, so plus 16B. And then minus 19C. And then these cancel out, the 2D and then the negative 2D, those cancel out. And then equals, that equals 108. Now we can label this E2 as equation 2. Now that we've eliminated all the Ds, now we can transfer this equation into a new one, a new equation, to get <coughs> A isolated. So isolating A means to just make uh, A by itself. So we need to bring everything over to that side. So we need to subtract 10B from both sides and add 11C from both sides. Okay, so once we do that, we get negative 10B plus 11C plus 72. And voila, here we have A, we have what A is. So now we can put that into equation 2, E2. <coughs> so E2 is, so let's put it into P2 first. We're going to put them into P2 and E2 because they both don't have Ds. They both <coughs> don't have Ds in them. So it would make it easier here. So let's substitute it into P2 first. So A equals this, so we're going to substitute it into here. So 7 times negative 10B plus 11C plus 72 plus 2B minus C equals negative 28. Now we substitute 7 throughout the parentheses. So 7 times negative 10b is negative 70b, negative 70b, plus 77c, plus 504. 7 times 72 is 504. So plus 2b minus c equals negative 28. So let's add or subtract the like terms. Negative 70b and 2b are like terms. So negative 70b plus 2b is negative 68b. And another like term I see are 77c and negative c. So 77c minus c is 76c. So plus 76c plus 504 equals negative 28. Now do you see another like term? Yes, there are other like terms. Another like term. So 504 and negative 28 are like terms. They're both numbers. So we subtract 504 from both sides in order to get this on the other side. So we have negative 68b plus 76c equals negative 532. Okay, so now we have this. We can number it. We can uh, label it as E3 or equation 3. So we plug this into P2, and then we got equation 3. So now we're going to plug this into E2, right, he right here. So we're, we have 5, and then you plug that in, times 10, negative 10B plus 11C plus 72. And then plus 16B minus 19C equals 108. So we substitute the 5 throughout the parentheses and you get negative 50B plus 55C and then 5 times 72 is 360. So plus 360. So plus 16B minus 19C equals 108. So what are the like terms here? So negative 50B and 16b are like terms. 55c and 19c, negative 19c are terms, are like terms. So we have negative 50b plus 16b, which is negative 34b. 
So negative 34b. And 55c minus 19c is negative, uh, is positive. So negative 34b plus 36c. And then plus 360 equals 108. So we can subtract 360 from both sides. And then these cancel out. These cancel out, and then we get neg negative 34b plus 36c equals negative 252. Okay, and we can label this as equation 4. So now we have E4 and E3. So <coughs> what we're going to do since negative 34 times 2 or negative 34 doubled is negative 68. If we divide negative 34 by 2, that's negative 17. And if we divide negative 68 by 4, that's negative 17 also. So we're getting one step closer to solving for b. So let's try that. So 2 divided by, or uh, this thing divided by 2 is negative 17b negative 17 d plus 18 c, 18 c, equals negative 126. Okay, now what we do with uh, E3, so we divide by 4. So divide by 4, E3 is negative 68 b plus 76 c, equals negative 532. So if we divide that by 4, we get negative 17b, and then <coughs> plus 19c, equals negative, negative 133. Okay, so <coughs> now we can multiply so we're going to combine these equations. So after we multiply this by a negative one, because if we don't multiply it by negative one, how are we going to, going to eliminate b? So we multiply by a negative one and we get 17b minus 18c equals 126. Now you can combine these two equations. Negative 17b plus 17b is zero. So those are crossed out. And 19c minus 18c is just c. So c equals negative 133 plus 126 is negative 7. So c is equal to negative 7. So we have c equals negative 7. And we got this equation from C, uh, E4, we divided it by 2 and multiplied it by negative 1. And then <coughs> we got this equation. So we plug C, which is negative 7, into this equation. We got 17B minus 18 times negative 7 equals 126. And 17B plus 126 so, because negative 18 times negative 7 is 126 equals 126, and then we subtracted 126 from both sides, and we got 17b equals 0 divided by 17 from both sides, and b equals 0, since 0 divided by 17 is 0. So now we plugged it, and now we have c equals negative 7 and b equals 0, and we plugged it into this equation. Remember this one? So a equals negative 10b plus 11c plus 72. You plug that into there, you plug that into there, and we got negative 10 times 0 plus 11 times negative 7 and then plus 72. Once we've done the math, we got 0 minus 77 plus 72. And then if we add these two together, we get a equals negative 5. So we got three answers so far. a equals negative 5 b equals 0, and c equals negative 7. So now we can plug that into p3, because p3 has a d, and I think it's easiest to plug it into. 
So A is negative 5, so we plug that in. B is 0, we plug that in. And C is negative 7. We don't know what D is yet, so we don't plug that in. So then we get 5 plus 0 plus 49 minus 2D equals 46. Now 5 plus 49 is 54. So we had 54 minus 2D equals 46. Now we subtracted uh, 54 from both sides, and we got negative 2D equals negative 8. Then we divided by negative 2 from both sides, and we got D equals 4. So now we have all the answers, all the answers for each variable, and are up, they are up here, A equals negative 5, B equals 0, C equals negative 7, and D equals 4. So thank you for watching Kid to Kid Tutorials, and if you like our videos, please share, like, and subscribe.